applications work we will consider only mechanical work that is pressure volume work let us consider a cylinder containing one mole of an ideal gas fitted with a frictionless piston let volume of the gas is vi and pressure of the gas inside is p when an external pressure px which is greater than p is applied to the piston it moves inward till the pressure inside becomes equal to p and the gas is compressed to final volume vf under constant external pressure p e x let cross sectional area of the piston is a and suppose piston moves a distance l then volume change is equal to l into a is equal to delta v is equal to vf minus vi we also know force is equal to pressure into area therefore force on the piston is equal to px into a if w is the work done on the system by movement of the piston then w is equal to force into distance is equal to px dot a dot l is equal to px dot minus delta v is equal to minus px vf minus vi since in case of compression vf minus vi is negative hence the sign obtained for the work will be positive if the pressure is not constant but changes during the process such that it is always infinitesimally greater than the pressure of the gas then at each stage of compression the volume decreases by an infinitesimal amount dv in such a case we can calculate the work done on the gas by the relation w is equal to minus integral upper limit vf lower limit vi of px dv here px at each stage is equal to pin plus dp in case of compression is equal to pin minus dp in case of expansion reversible process a process or change is said to be reversible if a change is brought out in such a way that the process could at any moment be reversed by an infinitesimal change a reversible process proceeds infinitely slowly by a series of equilibrium states such that system and the surroundings are always in near equilibrium with each other w reversible is equal to minus integral upper limit vf lower limit vi of px dv is equal to minus integral upper limit vf lower limit vi p in plus minus dp dv since dp into dv is very small we can write w reversible is equal to minus integral upper limit vf lower limit vi p in dv is equal to minus integral upper limit vf lower limit vi p dv for n mole of an ideal gas pv is equal to nrt therefore p is equal to nrt by v w reversible is equal to minus 
integral upper limit vf lower limit vi nrt dv by v is equal to minus nrt integral upper limit vf lower limit vi dv by v is equal to minus nrt natural log vf by vi is equal to minus 2.303 nrt log vf by vi free expansion expansion of a gas and vacuum px is equal to 0 is called free expansion no work is done during free expansion of an ideal gas whether the process is reversible or irreversible enthalpy it is defined as a thermodynamic potential denoted by the letter h enthalpy consists of the internal energy of the system u plus the product of pressure p and volume v of the system h is equal to u plus pv for finite changes at constant pressure we can write equation delta h is equal to delta u plus p delta dv delta h is negative for exothermic reactions which evolve heat during the reaction and delta h is positive for endothermic reactions which absorb heat from the surroundings delta h is equal to delta u at constant volume the difference between delta h and delta u is not usually significant for systems consisting of only solids and or liquids solids and liquids do not undergo any significant volume changes upon heating the difference however becomes significant when gases are involved let us consider a reaction involving gases if va is the total volume of the gaseous reactants vb is the total volume of the gaseous products na is the number of moles of gaseous reactants and nb is the number of moles of gaseous products using the ideal gas law we have p vb minus va is equal to nb minus na rt let nb minus na is equal to delta ng p delta v is equal to delta ng rt substituting the value of p delta v in equation of enthalpy we get delta h is equal to delta u plus delta ng rt extensive and intensive properties an extensive property is a property whose value depends on the quantity or size of matter present in the system for example mass volume internal energy enthalpy heat capacity etc are extensive properties those properties which do not depend on the quantity or size of matter present are known as intensive properties for example temperature density pressure etc are intensive properties a molar property xm is the value of an extensive property x of the system for one mole of the substance if n is the amount of matter xm is equal to x by n is independent of the amount of matter other examples are molar volume vm and molar heat capacity cm heat capacity when heat is absorbed by a system the temperature of the system rises 
the increase in temperature is proportional to the heat transferred. Q is proportional to delta T. Q is equal to coefficient into delta T equation 1. The magnitude of the coefficient depends on the size, composition and nature of the system. We can write equation 1 as Q is equal to C into delta T. Coefficient C is called as heat capacity. C is equal to Q by delta T. Heat capacity or thermal capacity is equal to the ratio of the heat added to or removed from an object to the resulting temperature change. The molar heat capacity of a substance Cm is equal to C by N is the quantity of heat needed to raise the temperature of 1 mole by 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin. Specific heat or specific heat capacity is the quantity of heat required to raise the temperature of 1 unit mass of a substance by 1 degree Celsius or 1 Kelvin. Q is equal to C into M into delta T. The relationship between Cp and Cv for an ideal gas. At constant volume, the heat capacity C is denoted by Cv and at constant pressure, this is denoted by Cp. At constant volume as Qv is equal to Cv delta T is equal to delta U. 1. At constant pressure as Qp is equal to Cp delta T is equal to delta H. 2. The difference between Cp and Cv can be found for an ideal gas as for a mole of an ideal gas delta H is equal to delta U plus delta PV is equal to delta U plus R delta T. Substituting the values delta H and delta U we get Cp delta T is equal to Cv delta T plus R delta T. Cp is equal to Cv plus R give Cp minus Cv is equal to R.